cracking everybody. How you doing? Saludos, buenos dias. So I wanted to talk about something, man. I hear a lot of people talking. There are a lot of people talking about uh, things they've done or been through. or And I'm trying to give this as a cautionary cautionary to the other channels, other people. <clears throat> Everybody talks about, oh, I did this. I did that, I did this, I got busted for this, but I did this, right? Let me explain something to you. We all know, most people in the criminal element of the world know that a murder has no statue, statue of limitation. If you're not sure what a statue of limitation is, means you can be charged at any time for a murder. doesn't matter how old you were, it doesn't matter where it happened, it doesn't matter uh, if they find out you murder somebody, they're going to come back and get you. That's what the statute of limitation is. So they can criminally prosecute you at any time for that murder. I actually know somebody that was in his 60s that got prosecuted for a murder when he was 15 years old. So he spent basically spent his whole life out here and they caught him in the end and he did time, right? Now, I was kind of just messing around looking through through uh, certain things, and I found a I found a statute of limitation on attempted murder, and that's uh what you call a six six four slash one eighty seven. Could be premeditated. It could be. Whatever, does any any scale of attempted murder. So when you got people telling you on YouTube, telling you that they're physically using a weapon to hurt somebody, trying to take their wind, uh, it would be highly unadvisable to talk about it. I'm not calling nobody liars. What I'm saying is you're stupid if you're talking about crimes committed. And I try to tell these guys it's it's not about me trying to nitpick and call you a liar and, and I know I'm gonna get calls all oh, hey I felt like that was for me, I saying whoa whoa whoa. It's across the board. If you're involved in crime and you're talking about your crimes, if unless you've been convicted of it, I'd shut my mouth. So I'm going to read this real quick just so you understand. There is no statute of limitation defense in attempted murder cases in California. That means... That district attorney may file PC 664 slash 187 charges against a defendant at any time. And no matter how long in the past the attempted murder, alleged attempted murder occurred. That's all California. That's not just LA. So if you're you're up north and you're doing something and you picked up a an attempt to murder, and you describe the crime on TV, trust me, they're looking into it. And if they find out it's legit, because I'll tell you right now, majority of them ain't legit, but if they do find out it's legit, if you went to jail, or were in jail, and you're talking about this, you got another crime, you got another charge coming. I don't know what makes these guys think that everybody can talk about what they did. <clears throat> you know, there there's multiple people out here that talk about, oh, I did this, I did that, but I got away. Even some of them have even been charged with it and walked away, supposedly. And you're going to go out there and tell everybody, this is what I did. You're admitting it. Self-admitting it on a camera 
that you committed this crime. So when most people talk about this, and, and, and cops, we all know, they don't care the hundred years they're going to get you. If they got a vendetta against you, they're going to get you. They're just waiting for you to slip up and say the wrong thing. Everybody knows they watch these channels. Okay? I've had multiple cops tell me that they watch my channel. The gang here from Burbank watched my channel. Oh, by the way, uh, that's just me being a kid. <laughs> don't, don't think it. The youngsters don't do that. that. That wasn't meant to entice you to do something like that. That was just me being a kid. So, when next time you hear it's about somebody talking about them committing a crime and they're walking around out here doing interviews and and running podcasts and all that. Take it with a grain of salt. Because most of them are not telling the truth. If you're on YouTube. Whether it's a guest or, or, or a, a content creator. And you're telling people you committed crimes. I want to say 9 out of 10 times you're lying. That's just me, though. That's just me. Uh, I ain't no expert on it, but I have seen multiple people who get out here and say they did something that I know virtually was impossible. If not, they were not impossible, but more than likely was not true. And I got a couple things to validate those truth is the, um, the fact that they ain't get busted for it. They're not busted for it now. Uh, there's serious crimes out there being broken. <clears throat> and if they think you're even remotely in an area or anybody you say you are and you did this and this is what happened and let me show you the newspaper and you're not walking away. That's uh it's a slippery slope. I know some people want to be out there and, and tell you, hey, check it out. This is what I've been through. And, and I don't think this is the right way for you to go in the talking to those youngsters. And I can, I can attest to that. I can agree with that. I can, I'm cool with that. But when you sit there and try to brag about things that you did as in, glorify it, then I got a problem with it. That's just me. I'm just spitting game a little. You guys want to accept it, you don't. Don't get on YouTube. Don't get on no any platform and ever talk about a crime that you committed. Because there is no statute of limitation for uh, when you use a weapon on somebody. That's just the way California is. So if you're out there telling I did this and I did that and I did this and I got the newspaper clip and this is where it's at, no. You're 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 asking to get busted. You're you're technically you're you're telling on yourself. Have a blessed one, you guys.